Hi, my name is Ben Schoenfeld, owner of Benny Brewing Company on the Sansui Parkway in Hanover Township. My name is Jason Moots, I'm the owner of Michael Moots Candies, and we're at 1246 Sansui Parkway in Hanover Township. I'm a fourth generation candy maker. My family's been making uh, quality confections for over a hundred years now. And uh, we make all of our buttercreams, caramels, peanut brittle, butter almond crunch, uh, delicious homemade fudge. And uh, we've started to experiment with some new fun things too. The collaboration began with Jason and I just hanging out, having a couple beers, talking about, hey, do you want to try to do something with beer? Do you want to add some chocolate to beer? Do you want to add this? He's like, well, I'm looking at doing a truffle line. And thought about, why don't we do like a beer infused truffle or something in that nature? And we decided to go with the caramel porter as an infusion into the caramel porter sea salt truffle. It was a tough thing to decide how, how do you get chocolate into beer or beer into chocolate um, and, and it seemed like caramel porter was was the uh, the best way to go about it. Besides the fact that it was it was kind of the easiest way to for us to incorporate our product into his beer, our caramel is amazing. It's a really high quality, and I know that uh, he's he's done some really great porter. So it was also a way we could take two of our you know uh, highest quality products and put them together, and uh, it was it was a, a, a marriage that went really well. The porters kind of seem like a natural pairing because the the bitterness and that you get from the roasted malt in the the beer itself lends a great complement to and even like an offset to the sweet caramel flavors. So we use some darker malts in the porter, so it gives you a nice, rich, like robust flavor. Um, and what we did was is we took caramel that we made down at Michael Moots Candies and we brought that up here and towards the end of fermentation process and brewing the beer we added the caramel into the beer so it gave that great rich kind of flavor caramel flavor to the beer which complements those darker roasted grains. The caramel porter kind of has that like almost uh, dessert quality to it uh, very drinkable um, you know the the smoothness of the caramel I think when you try the caramel porter you taste like a, a butteriness almost that comes from the caramel um, and uh, it's just a, a really good a really good combination. The first batch we made sold out extremely fast. It was really, really a great success in the brew pub and also out at local establishments as well. So we sold out of the cans really fast. We had the draft for about another two weeks after that. Um, and it prompted us to do the second batch, which is going to be released right around Easter time. We had the opportunity um, to plan for this release uh, for, for this time of year because everybody loves caramel. Uh, that caramel porter kind of dessert um, beer is perfect to come out for Easter when everybody's filling their baskets. Uh, now we've got a pretty unique product that you can put in your basket. You can put it the, the caramel porter truffle in there and you can also put a six pack of the caramel porter. So we thought it was a great time to, to bring this out to the public and uh, you know get some great feedback from people and we're excited about uh, releasing it. The truffles, unreal. They're phenomenal, honestly. Um, really nice crack when you bite into it. The chocolate itself that's encapsulated cracks and the center of it is super smooth and as it warms up in your mouth it's like a velvety smooth finish. It works out really great. You have a little bit of sea salt on the top of it that balances out the, the dark chocolate which is my favorite and it also um, lends to like that smoothness in the center and the ganache. It is just absolutely delicious. A uh, truffle is a unique piece. First of all it's, uh, it's, it's kind of touted as, as um, you know the true test of a chocolatier is, is how good their truffles are. Um, I, I'm very proud of the product that we put out. I think we did a, a great job making that ganache. Um, but when you're trying to take a liquid and put it into chocolate it's, it's a little difficult. You've got to cook out you know any water activity um, and the, the way that we felt was the the, made the most sense was to take something that already has um, a liquid in the center, like uh, you know the, the heavy cream and the ganache. Um, it's already going to be cooked up and, and heated to a high degree so that it's pasteurized. So it really made the most sense to uh, just add that ingredient in because the basics of a truffle kind of uh, allowed that to happen. Pairing the actual glass of beer with the truffle itself works tremendously. You have the little bit of bitterness and the sweetness of the beer that goes right in with my favorite, the dark truffle. So you get the bitterness, you get a little bit of salinity from the salt on it, and then the creamy smooth center that leaves you with a little bit of sweetness at the end. I think it absolutely pairs perfect.
So our caramel is uh, an old-fashioned family recipe. It's copper kettle cooked. Uh, it's got a, a cream base to begin with, and uh, you know, being able to take that incredible recipe, uh, something that's very popular with our customers, and incorporate that into a beer, first of all, was, it was incredible. And then once we decided to make the truffle, I actually put some of our liquid caramel in the ganache. So you truly have, when you eat a, a Parkway Caramel Porter truffle, you're eating the caramel, you're eating the, the porter, and you're eating the, the basic ganache center, which is our really good 54% cacao dark chocolate uh, that we mix in with that heavy cream with that reduced caramel porter beer. And uh, the finished product is unbelievable. I mean, the whole goal with, with the product at Benny Brewing Company is that ideas come from me, they come from staff, they come from other customers that come in, say, why don't you try making this? Why don't you do that? And it's always about, let's source the best ingredients we can, let's use the best brewing practices possible, and let's just make the best beer that's available to the consumer. Uh, every time that we get together at the brewery, there's always some ideas thrown around. So there's, there's definitely going to be some future collaborations. Um, you know, when we get those meetings of the minds and, and do a little bit of research with the beer, it, uh, it, it gets the creative juices flowing and there's going to be some good stuff coming out soon. I think in the future we're maybe looking at a summer style truffle. Um, that might be coming out with maybe some fruit flavored beer or something in that order. I'm not quite sure yet, but it's going to happen. So the Caramel Porter is available in cans and draft here at the Brew Pub. You could also go on our website at bennybrewing.com, click on the beer finder section, find a place closest to you. Kevin Dotzel is our salesperson. He's always out on the road, posting new places where the beer is available. If there's a place that you don't have it at or don't see it, just post it on Facebook and let us know and we'll do our best to get it into the location nearest to you. Uh, so we were able to coat our truffles in both milk and dark chocolate. We sprinkle it with pink Himalayan sea salt and we package them in half pound boxes. So those boxes can be purchased both in our store here at 1246 Sansui Parkway and also right up the street at Benny Brewing Company also on the Sansui Parkway. We thank you from everybody here at Benny Brewing Company. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for sharing the art and the passion of brewing and food. We really appreciate everyone coming in and really just checking out the concept that's been driven here at Benny Brewing Company.